Hello engineers. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use the rectangular pattern tool. So as you can see here, I have drawn a basic bracket. Just in the corner, I have sketched a 2.5 millimeter diameter circle to which we will rectangular pattern. The pattern tools are located underneath the sketch tab under the pattern panel. So first let's select the rectangular pattern tool. We have our dialog box pop up. And first of all, we need to select the geometry we wish to pattern. So I will select the circle. And then we need to define the direction to which we will pattern. So let's select this line here. And you can see the default direction is correct. Here, I will input a number of instances. So in this case, it will be 19. And then in the box below, we need to specify the offset distance between each pattern. So that will be five millimeters in this case. We also have the option to select a second direction, which we will do. So in this case, I'll select this vertical line and you can see the default direction is incorrect. We can flip this by selecting the flip option here. And now we are panning in the correct position. So for number of instances, I will input four and I will input the same offset distance of five millimeters. Now I will press OK. And as you can see, we have patterned our circle in both the X and Y directions. Now we can modify this pattern at any point by hovering the mouse over any one of the pattern circles and by right clicking. Here we can edit the pattern, which is the option here, but we can also delete the entire pattern here. We can suppress individual elements. So first let's delete the entire pattern. And as you can see, we are only left with our initial circle. Press Control Z to go back. And I'll right click again on any one of the pan circles. I'll click suppress. And I'll do this on a number of circles. And as we can see, these circles are now suppressed. So we can suppress any circle that has been patterned. If we select OK on the sketch, and go to the home view, we can see these circles are now excluded from our pattern. And again, we can edit our pattern. So right click and we'll select edit. And here we can adjust any of the variables in either direction. So from here, I will finish the sketch. I'll then go to 3D model and I will select extrude. I'll then draw around all of our circles. I will cut through all, press OK. Our circular pattern has now been extrude cut through our bracket. And that concludes the rectangular pattern tool. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments section. I will see you in the next tutorial.